Hello and welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. SQL Server Utility provides an interface for interacting with the SQL Server instance. In our previous video, we have imported SQL Server Utility VBO. Now, in this video, we will learn how to set a connectivity with SQL Server by using set connection action. And also, we will learn how to open and close the connection to the SQL Server by using open and close actions. All right, I have already created a process with the name of SQL Actions Session 1. Let me drag and drop an action onto the canvas. First of all, we need to set the connection with the SQL Server database. How can we go ahead and do that? First of all, to set that, I'm going to change the properties of the action. I'm going to select business object as data SQL server. Now, if you see the actions over here, I'm having a lot of actions over here. Now to set the connectivity with the SQL server database, we are going to choose the option over here as set connection. This is the first step which you need to select whenever you're going to connect with the SQL server database. If you see the inputs over here, I'm having server, database, username, and password. So these details from where we can get it. How can we get all these details from the SQL Server database? Now, let me switch to SQL Server Management Studio. Over here, whenever you are going to connect to the database, it will ask this information. One is server type, and you can see the server name over here as, what is the server name that you are going to connect it? In the real-time scenario, what will happen, you are going to connect to the server like you are having somewhere the SQL Server has been deployed and you are going to connect to the database. In that case, you are going to give the names of the server over here. In my case, the server name is desktop-sql server express. This is the server name. And if you see the authentication over here, I'm having two types of authentication. One is Windows authentication. Another one is SQL Server authentication. Whenever you are going to select SQL Server authentication, you need to provide the login. Like in such a way, you will have admin, you will have a SA, and you may have different kind of logins details over here. And then you have to give the respective login password you need to give it over here to connect to the particular server the, in the real-time scenario. Now, over here, I'm connecting with the Windows authentication so that I don't have any kind of username password over here. And then... These are the two things which we need to capture first and then click on connect. All right. Over here, if you see the databases, I'm having different databases over here, such as BP, employee, school fees management. These are all the databases. Now, to connect to any one of the database, you require the name of the database. Over here, you can see employee is my database. Right now, I'm going to connect it. Right. If you want to know much more about the SQL Server, I have created few videos related to the SQL Server. I have given the link in my description. Please go through the videos before proceeding, how to connect with the SQL Server and how to work on the SQL Server. All the videos myself has been created over there. You can go through them once. Now, you got the server name, you got the authentication, you got the database name, all these things right now. Now, I'm going to provide the same thing over here. Now. Let me switch back to Blue Prism Process Studio. Now, if you see over here, the server. What is the server name that we got it? If you see over here, I'm having desktop-sql server express. SQL express is the instance which I have created over there while I'm going to connect to the SQL server. All right. And now if you see the database, what is the database name? I'm having employee. In my case, I'm using Windows authentication. I'm not using SQL server authentication. If you're going to use SQL Server authentication, in that case, provide the username and the password, respective user password. In my case, I'm going to use Windows authentication so that I don't require username and password. All right. Now, if you see the outputs, I don't have any outputs over here. Now, let's click on OK. Now, this is the way how we are going to set a connection between Blue Prism and the SQL Server by using set connection action. Now, I have established the connection between the Blue Prism and the SQL Server. Now, the connectivities I need to open. 
So how can I go ahead and open the connection? Let me drag and drop another action onto the canvas. To open the connection between SQL Server and the Blue Prism, I'm going to change the properties over here of the action. I'm going to select business object as data SQL Server. And then if you see the action, I'm having open, another one is close. If you see, what is the purpose of this open and close actions? To execute any queries in the database, first, we need to open the connectivity between the Blue Prism and the SQL Server by using open action. And then, once the query has been executed successfully by using execute action, as a good practice, we will close the connection as early as possible by using close action. All right. First of all, we'll see how to open the connection by using open action over here. Please select the action over here as open. And then if you see over here, I don't have any inputs over here. So if you see the outputs over here, I'm having two outputs. One is success, another one is message. Whenever the connection has been established successfully between Blue Prism and the SQL Server, and the connection has been opened by using open action, then we'll get a message over here at the success message. You can see over here, the success data type is flag and the message is text. We will learn about this message output later. Now the success, I'm going to give it as stored in as data item as open success. So once it has been successfully connected by using open connection, you will get the output as true. All right, let me click on store in and you will get a flag over here as open success. And then I'm going to click on OK. Now we have set the connection, we have opened the connection. And then we are going to use another action to close the connectivity. So how can we do that? I'm going to change the properties of the action and I'm going to select business object as data SQL server and I'm going to give the action as close. You can see the same kind of, you can see over here, you don't have any inputs and in the same way, you have the same outputs which you have for the open action also. Now for the success, I'm going to give close success. I'm just going to give it like that and I'm going to create data item and then I'm going to click on OK. Now, you can see over here, whenever you have opened the connection, it will give you one message, success message as true or false. When it is failed, it will give as false. When the connection has been closed, at the same time, if the connection has been closed successfully, it will give the closed success data item as true. If it is not successfully closed, in that case, it will give as false. All right. Now, as part of this session, we have set the connection, we have opened the connection and we have closed it. To make you understand what I will do, I will use execute action also for the time being. Inside the action, what I'm going to select, I'm going to select data SQL server and then I'm going to use execute action. I'm not going to explain you much more about this. If you see the input over here, it is asking the input as query. What is the query which I need to execute at the database? If you see over here in my SQL Server Management Studio, I'm having the table with the employee details. Inside that, I'm having employee name and salary. If you see in my employee table, I don't have any data. It's a blank, entirely blank table, right? Now, I want to insert the data inside the table by using execute query, all right? I'm not explaining much more detail over here. I'm just trying to make you to understand how we are going to be connecting with the database. I have given the query as insert into employee table, employee name and salary. And you can say I'm going to give my name and the salary. It's a just example I'm going to give it over here. And then I'm going to click on validate. The expression is valid, click on okay. Now this query I'm going to execute at the database side, okay? By using Blue Prism. And I'm having the outputs over here as success and message which we have seen uh, same as open and close. I'm not going to use anything over here right now. Click on OK. Now I'm going to connect from start to set connection, from set, from set connection to open action, from open action to execute. Execute to again, I'm going to close the connectivity from by using close action from there to an end. 
Now, let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. First, it will set the connectivity between Blue Prism and the SQL Server by using set connection. Now, once the, it has been successfully connected, now you can see it has been opened the connection between SQL Server and the Blue Prism. And you can see the open connection as true. And after that, it has been executed the query inside the database by using execute action so that we will see the output once again. And then if you see over here, SQL Server close connection. So once the query has been executed successfully, it is going to be close the connection by using close action. Now you can see the output over here as close success. That is also true. In any one of the cases, opening and closing has been failed. In that case, it will come as false over here. I will show you that right now. Now, if you see over here, let me execute the query once again in my database and you can see employee ID as one, employee name as Amir and the salary has been inserted successfully by using execute query action. All right, now I want to make them as open and close as failure. How can I make it? Now let us assume if the connectivity is wrong, if the server name I have given it as some other wrong name I have provided or else if you see the server name is correct and the database name I have given it as employee one, which, which is not available at the database side. So in that case, what will happen? Let's say about that. Click on OK. Now let's rerun the process to see the output. Process execution started. And you can see the connection by using set connection, it has been connected between Blue Prism and the SQL server. And you can see over here, the open success, it has been given as false. So, and it won't execute the queries at the database side. And then finally the close connection, which is happened is successfully. Now we'll see the execute query has been happened successfully or not at the database side. Let me go back to my SQL server. And then if you see in the employee details table, previously I had Amir and salary. Let me execute the select query once again. Now you can see I'm having only one record even after processing or executing the action at the Blue Prism side, right? This is how we are going to connect between Blue Prism and the SQL Server by using SQL Server action that is set connection. And also we will open the connectivity and we will close the connectivity by using open action and the close action by using SQL Server utility actions. I hope you understand how to work with set action, open action, and close action. In the next session, we will learn in detail how to work with execute action as part of the Blue Prism actions. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment session. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.